My name is Josephine S. Talamantes, a.k.a. Josie. Uh, I am the co-founder of Chicano Park and the co-founder of the Chicano Park Steering Committee and the most recent board chair of the newly established Chicano Park Museum and Cultural Center. I was always encouraged to do whatever it is that I wanted to do, but also there was a strong community service ethic while I was growing up. My role model was my mom, because uh, my mother was actively involved in numerous things. You know, even before I was born, she was uh, involved at the Guadalupe Church to get the new facility from where it was a long time ago. She was involved with the canneries and becoming union, where they weren't before that. So her involvement in communities and community development was really my role model. You're not always going to be perfect. And I think as young people, just because you mess up doesn't mean you stop. And I saw people that have messed up along the line and then they stopped. We can't do that. And for the next generation, you can't do that. You just get up, you shake yourself off, and you keep going. I think as a young person, I really wasn't thinking about me. I started thinking more in my involvement with them than when I was going through the things we were doing here in San Diego. And I think it's because I was a little bit older and I was a little bit more mature, maybe not so mature, but you know, at least a little bit older, where I could give thought to the impact that we were having on communities. I was 18 years old. I, I, I didn't have any life experience behind me to be a negotiator. However, I was aware of what was going on and we did negotiate. But we went from there to take over the neighborhood house. And we kicked out the people that ran the neighborhood house because it was no longer providing services for our community after five o'clock in the afternoon when most of us needed the services. So this movement that was happening in our community, in my community, was so powerful and provided influence to know that we could accomplish whatever we wanted to accomplish. When I came back to San Diego and I became the director of the Centro Cultural, Pete Wilson, who was the mayor of San Diego at that time, had a two-year phase out for the institution. And so those things you think about because you have to respond. Either you respond or the agency closes. The Balboa Association did not want the park. Um, in the late 70s, they wanted me to switch this building for the Centro when I was the director. Couldn't do that, have a board of directors. Besides, the Centro needs to be in Balboa Park where all the cultural institutions are. I think if I think too much, you know, I'm living in the past or I'm living in the future. And if I'm living in the future, I don't know what the outcome is. If I'm looking at the past, I know all the disasters that we have to face. So I really don't do that too much. I try to stay moving forward because otherwise I could get just stagnant and stop and not do anything.